Canadian rights media. I'd rather not be filmed, please. That's, I'm private property. I'm just checking to see. Uh, actually, you came out in public, sir. What's your name? Name and reg number. What's your name? Fail to identify, constable. Wait, what is your purpose? Because I'm practicing my Canadian charter rights to film in public. But you don't have rights. Somebody called to complain about you, but don't worry. We're going to go in and educate them. Tell them that what you're doing is perfect for me. Plus it. Hey everybody, it's Canadian Rights Media. I'm here at the Calgary Fire Department headquarters. I'm here to see if the firefighters, management, and I'm too sure if they have security, maybe corporate security, will respect my Canadian rights to film in public. Let's find out. Here's the Calgary Firefighters headquarters. That's their building. And fire station number 16 right next to her. Oh, cam back. Oh, swinging in. Someone coming in. Oh, two people coming in. And a third person coming in. Nice friendly wave. Alright, so this is fire station number 16. This guy has a look on him. And there's the company name and the vehicle number. And here's the back of fire station number 16. Oh, it's on his phone. You know what to say. See something, say something. Yeah, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? No? But can you tell me how to get how to get to Sesame Street? You say you're gonna help. Here's the side of fire station number 16. It's ooh, a little slippery. It is a newer building you could tell and we've got the Canadian flag flying high and down over there we have the Calgary Stampede flag the Canadian flag and the fire department flag flying high so living quarters upstairs and kitchen and office and workout room is on the first floor and there's the doors where the fire trucks are i wonder if he's uh, googling how to get to sesame street google maps google earth Ooh, we have fire, fire chief. I don't know. I thought it was fire chief vehicle. And this is public welcome, so. 
let's let's go check it out. So they had a firefighter's museum, but it says it's closed. Kind of, that's kind of sad. Let's see if I can get some pictures inside. They have a fire hose. Fire fire coming in. Nice head nod. I scared. Right. Good. Good. Is the headquarters open for the public? Um, the museum is not open anymore. If that's what you're talking about. There's yeah. Not really. It's just offices. And stuff. Just offices. Yeah. Okay. No, that's all. I was just wondering. Nope. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. There's the fire chief. Off to work he goes. Kind of a nice smile. All right, so I would definitely say this is a pass. What's your thoughts? Comment below, fail or pass. Hi. Hi, were you wanting a tour of the fire hall or something, or what? Oh, I'd love to get a tour. Is somewhere I could contact or? Not a buzzer at that door yep. right there. We'll press that buzzer and we'll, we'll, we'll give you a tour. Well, thank you so much. No problem. How's it going? Good, you? Not too bad. I was over at the headquarters mm -hmm. and I was 
thought the museum was open until I saw the sign. Sadly, it's and, closed, yeah. And uh, the lady who's dropping some, some stuff off there brought me over here and said if I asked you guys for a quick tour. Oh, geez. Sorry, I, I wish we could, but it's actually permanently closed. We don't have access to Oh, it. no, for the hall. Oh, the hall. Oh, I thought you meant the museum. Yeah, no. Yeah, sure. Would you like to tour the hall? Do you mind if I record? Sure. Awesome. Come on. My name is Shad. Hey, Steve. Nice to meet you. Sure. Thank you so much. No problem. This is a quieter hall, so... It looks like a newer hall. Well, newer, it's, it's actually not, but it was renovated. Ah. So it's an old hall, but with a facelift. So, but, uh, so over the years, there's been a ton of different rigs come through here. But right now, we're down to an engine and uh, a hot truck and our Jeeps are out of here. So you guys don't get much calls, eh? No, well, it's in mainly industrial area around yeah. here. Yeah. Right? So we do, when we do the big. But uh, volume-wise, no, we're one of these probably lower third, yeah. I would guess, in the city. So what yeah. engine? It was that lady. So we come and push the button. Oh, yeah, she's, um, she's one of our supply people. So yeah. she wouldn't know the right answers. But, uh, yeah, so... I was just going to say, there's a firefighter sleeping on the job. Yeah. I'm like, you guys work out tired and out that much? Yeah. How much is, or sorry, not how much, how much uh, weight is that dummy? That one's probably 170-ish. Yeah. Yeah, they range. They're, they're, they're life, or life size, uh, life-like, so they do definitely have weight. I think they range from 150 to 175-ish, depending on which model you have. And I couldn't tell you which one that is. <laughs> He's got, he's missing an arm, so he's a little lighter than yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so is there anything particular you want to see in here? Or? Oh, no, just actually come yeah. see one inside. Is sir, we have awesome. some um, unusual equipment here that you wouldn't find at most halls, being this fan and the light pack. So, you know, typical fire trucks, of course, you'll have those in all halls. Uh, but we have these two pieces of equipment here that go all just for specialized they need a really big fan. And where was that used? The Costco was uh, one? Yeah, any sort of large building. Yeah. Uh, Drew's been here way longer than I have, so it's probably it's better to answer your questions. It to, it. There was a fire at the airport and here on the day. So large structures that we need a lot of air. That's what we need. So we have smaller fans on different apparatus, but nothing quite of that volume. And then the, the light stand there, again, lots of our trucks also have light stands. Have two of these in case they need it. Not that one actually went the legacy fire to help light up the seat. And then a pod truck. Um, we've got two of these now. Hazmat has the same thing with an actual like a C can pod full of ready to go equipment on it. Uh, lots of services are going that way with these pod type things now. So the, uh, you literally drop the container off the scene and everything you have or you need is right there. Cool. So that's kind of a neat way of thinking. And of course our chiefs are out of here and well, we call that a panel pickup truck, basically. So if, again, like at a, a legacy fire station where they need supplies brought to them right away, that's what that truck's for. And this is a mobile trainer. So this one is used for our driver training simulation. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's it. We've just launched a driver training program, a whole job. So uh, that's where this comes into play now. So you guys just have, well, except for this one, so you only only have the one engine yeah out of here now yeah so if i remember right uh cfd donated an old fire truck to a country I can't yeah that was just called. in the news actually not yeah, long ago. that old yellow yeah, one I did, I did read that and all i know is is that article that I saw. but yeah. yeah you're right that that was fairly recently in the news but. and honestly i thought it was great why why you know throw a piece of equipment that might not meet standards here but yep. and now a country could use it. I know it. over the years there's been a ton of equipment and like turnout gear and that kind of things. I was actually just in Cuba uh, and he did a tour of the fire hall in Nevada and they had an old set of our turnout gear. Really? He was really proud to show me the Canadian flag on it. Yeah so it definitely happens. Yep. As for the truck though I don't know the details but I do remember reading that article. So. Yeah that's what kind of brought me up to the headquarters because mm -hmm. I looked it up and it was like wow nice building and then saw this. So I thought it was a newer one, not, mm. not knowing that they just slapped yeah, lipstick this, on it. and Right, yeah, this used to be our headquarters and a combined fire hall, and that was a completely different building next door. But with the Renault, they've moved headquarters over there, and now 
this is just a fire hose. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So there's what six of us out of here on any given day, plus the chiefs. We have a district chief and time chief. And of course, you guys are man here 24 oh, yeah. hours. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Full time, you betcha. Well, thank you so much for your yeah, time. Time. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by. Oh. As I said, if it wasn't for her, yeah. I, I, I was kind of like going, oh, the museum's closed. Oh. Yeah, you know, and, and we really hope that's going to open again soon. It's, it's a shame to have it sitting there empty like that. Yeah. It's not, I shouldn't say empty, but closed. Everything's still in it, but it's not open to the public. But I'm sure they'll, they'll sort that out. I, I do, too. Yeah. Get, Thanks. Well, no, thank you so much. I hope you guys have a quiet day. You too. Enjoy the forthcoming snow. Oh, don't remind me. Yeah. We're, we're, all of us at work are just thinking, oh, great. When we come back to work, it's minus 23. Oh, uh, great. Us too. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not looking forward to it. Hope we're just finally here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. See you later. Have a good day. You too. All right, everybody. So let's try this uh, closing again. I will consider this an awesome great pass uh, I do want to thank uh, fire station number 16 for the tour uh, you guys were awesome and comment below what your thoughts and also make sure you like share and hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter till next time well I'd like to thank you uh, I think it's important that uh, the people know their rights I think it's important that people exercise their rights as well so well, so there's the front.